Hello, Cyborg Academy. Hello, Stavastic Cyborg Academy. Good day. Today, Cyborg Force the Ancestor. Now online. Today, I'm gonna dissect to you regarding the a particular stock named Picor. Uh, wherein this time uh, I'd, I'd like to answer the question on the post that I posted yesterday in Cyborg Academy if there is really a buying and selling signal in Cyborg Force trading strategy now let us cut it short let's go to uh, the chart of Investigrom. Let us all be thankful to Investigrom that the Investigrom gave us this platform for our technical analysis in our daily uh, trading uh, lives. So, in this statement, how do you know that there is really a buying and selling signal in the cyborg pro trading strategy and hybrid cyborg edge trading strategy today i'm gonna announce sing it to you that i discovered again a hybrid cyborg force trading strategy that i am calling it as an as a hybrid cyborg edge trading strategy the previous one that i have shared it to you gave it to you as a cyborg force trading strategy i'm gonna renaming it as a cyborg pro only the cyborg pro trading strategy that i share it to you gave it to you in free that nowadays we are using in our daily trading activities way back before before i uh, gave and share it to you for public consumption i have no hesitation that within my heart and in my mind i'm gonna share it to the public so from the bottom of my heart, from my closest friend and closest virtual, virtual friend in Facebook and in Instagram, I gave it to, to, to them. All of the Cyborg Force trading uh, indicators, not only the Cyan, Yellow, Hulma and the Red and Green, there is a lot of indicators that a Cyborg Force Pro uh, has. So if you want to see my uh, chart, let's go to this uh, chart of Investigram. This is the, uh, the confluences of a Cyborg Force trading strategy where we maybe I am only the original one who uses the indicators in one main chart because as a traditional uh, traders some would love really love only to use one or two three technical indicators along with the main chart but uh, through my inquisitiveness i put it all the indicators in one main chart so that i can understand and uh, know whether where is the stock is going on some people are wow why you have a lot of lines indicators it's a kinda sinasabi nila paint daw but once na sinasabi ko na alam ko po ang aking ginagawa lahat na indicators dyan ay alam ko kung ano ang function nila kaya by mere one look only 
at this uh, main chart, I know whether the, the particular stock is going down, going consolidation, or going uh, up. Not uh, boosting it within myself, hindi sa pagmamayabang. Um, malimit nakikita ko ang kinakahihinatnan ng isang uh, stock na nandito sa isang main chart ni Cyborg Force the Ancestor. So, let's go back now to the picor that I'm going to discuss it to you. And this is now the um, the answer wherein if there is really a buying and selling signal in Cyborg for trading strategy. So in short, I am more, uh, gagamitin lang natin na indicators yung RSI, itong green, stochastic RSI, and itong uh, um, indicators na to. And sa main chart, itong Ichimoku clouds and other lines, indicators that you uh, may see in my uh, trading uh, chart for technical analysis. So as a general rule, let's go back to the basic and general rule of cyborg force trading strategy. Ano nga ba yung uh, sinasabing identifying buy and sell entry ni cyborg? As a general rule, there is a buy signal when the price crosses above yellow color. Isipin mo lang ngayon, pikit mo yung mga mata, na once yung kulay ng yellow, ang yellow is a moving averages which you may found, find it in my previous tutorials what is the uh, corresponding indicators and uh, numbers or uh, the length of that indicators in my previous uh, tutorials imagine mo yung line na yellow kinro nagko cross yung price so so yung, when yung price is crossing above the yellow, it's a buy signal. It's a conservative buy signal. So, imagine mo ulit yung sell entry natin. Ano nga ba yung sinasabing uh, sell entry ni Cyborg Force the Ancestor? When the price crosses below yellow color, imagine mo, eh, para ma-internalize mo, yung line na yellow going down and yung price also crosses below pa ilalim sa yellow so it's your call for a conservative sell entry that is the basic general rule of cyborg hindi ka mawawala dyan so balikan natin tong chart na to to find out if really there is a buying and selling signal in cyber force trading strategy by the way guys bago mo pala bago ka pala maging eksperto sa isang uh, stock uh, trading stock trading sa isang merkado marapat lamang na alamin mo ang isang istorya ng particular na chart na to Ang bawat uh, candles na to ay merong kahulugan, function, and maybe it would help you to understand if the certain stock is going down or going up. So in my next uh, video tutor tutorials, I'm gonna teach you or share to you what really a candlestick means. Kasi kung sa huwad na labanan lang naman, lang naman, kahit walang mga linya-linya to or indicators, maaari kang magkapag-trade sa merkado using uh, candlestick only. So, let us dissect now this particular stock in a daily time frame if to prove that if there is really a buy and selling signal in the cyber force trading strategy. So, Ang sinasabi ng general, general rule, when the price is crossing above the yellow color, there is A, buy signal. So, identify natin yung yellow. Ito yung yellow. So, kulayan natin. 
let's color it yellow this is the yellow as you have seen this is the yellow color so yan yan ka magbabay sa level na to you have to execute your buy entry sa mabilisang panahon sa level na yan because nag cross yung price above the yellow color and at the same time the cyan color has already been up above the yellow so meaning the uh, cyan is very aggressive and itinuturo ka papuntang up so that is your buy signal in daily time frame so sa daily time frame hindi mo pa malalaman na magkakaroon ng buy uh, selling signal because there is no account that the yellow color and then the cyan color is going down and the particular candlestick is making lower down also so meaning this is your um, uh, sell signal sa daily time frame remember when the candlestick crosses below so laki natin when the, the candlestick crosses below during each and every moment uh, minute minutes in a, a, a time frame pawawa na pawawa pawawa yung uh, candlestick you have to ex execute now your sell entry yan po ang konsepto ng cyber force trading strategy baka po sinasabi nila na there was no really a buy and selling signal in cyber force cyber force trading strategy it's a mere lines only i can do it with myself nasabi nila but i don't know i am the maybe i am the first one who identified this strategy but sinasabi nitong candlestick na lumagpas siya dito sa Ichimoku clouds. Papasadan lang natin ng konti itong mga indicators na to. Kasi, um, later on, if I'm going to teach you in my trading strategy like this one, we will be consuming a lot of times. But, in short, um, let us use these uh, less uh, indicators so that I can uh, mm, convey it to you what are what are those what are the, the function of these indicators. So, when a particular stock or candlestick went up above these clouds, kasi ito yung itumuro clouds eh, ito. When a particular stock candlestick went up above the clouds, it is considered considered as a bullish. So this one is acting to you as a support. That cloud is your support. And how do you know that there is really a buy and sell? Balikan natin ulit yung uh, konsepto ng uh, general rule ni Cyborgs because during this time that there is a rally maybe above going uptrend the RSI was already on, on an oversold level meaning nag-accumulate mo ba yung uh, RSI yung strength ng uh, candlestick Bumababa. And at the same time, nag-accumulate ulit yung mga traders, mga investors, or mga fund managers, brokers, etc. etc. dito sa baba. And on a certain time, there will come a time that the stock will climb again because of this indicator. The RSI, ang system ng RSI is sinasabi, 
ang ibang traders at ang sinasabi ng libro. When the RSI um, breaches 50 level, you have to execute now your buy entry. Pero late na po siya. So as per my research and my thorough readings about the uh, stock indicators, when an indicator went down, went down to the oversold level, this is the oversold, and this is your overbought level. When you when the uh, when the line when the line of the indicator crosses down and signifies that it will be it will going up again, you have to execute now your buy entry on this level, knowing for a fact that the certain stock may be in bullish trend. So, pag dito pa nga, dito, dito pa nga lang sa level na to, you have to consider a buying entry. And then, tignan mo, nang uh, tumaas si RSI sa level 50, parang medyo naging bullish masyado yung isang kandila. So, mamamalaya mo yan dito sa isang kandila siya to at naging very mataas yung kanyang uh, kandila. Hindi lang tulad na ganito na maliit. So, that is your buy, buy entry. So, remember, as per book that I have read, when uh, when the indicator line of a particular oscillator or indicator went above, pumunta dito, sa level na to, you have to consider a buy entry. So, para pag tumas pa siya sa, um, sa level ng level 50, panalo ka na. So, that is the one technique that I reveal it to you. Maybe you have no knew it already, but I am repeating it to you for other people to know and understand what are the function of RSI what is the function of oversold and uh, overbought level? So, tignan natin to si PCOR sa 5 minutes level. 5 minutes sa time frame. Let us erase this one. Titignan natin yung le, uh, structure ni PCOR. on this particular time frame. So let's go to a 5 minute time frame. So ito yung structure ni PCOR. Nagkaroon siya ng buy and sell dito sa Cyborg Force kasi yung price crosses above this line. The price crosses above this line. So, yan ang buy entry mo. And then, you have to execute now your sell entry. When the uh, yellow and cyan color is crossing each other and the candlestick is uh, crossing the lines below the yellow and cyan color. And ano nga ba yung sinasabi kong new trading strategy ni Cyborg? What are those uh, indicators that um, in accompaniment with the Cyborg Force Pro trading strategy? 
I have these indicators as you see this is the uh, white thin color and there is this uh, white broad color and I'm gonna naming it as a cyborg white knight uh, white cyborg knights ito yung mga tirador ni uh, cyborg pro for strategy bakit ko nasabi kasi when you go to uh, this particular time frame this is the buy and sell this is the buy and sell uh, when this line crosses this uh, white cyborg knight crosses when the price crosses above the white color it gave you a confidence that really the particular stock is going up because if the certain stock is going down the particular candlestick is going down these indicators also will fall down yan ang uh, strategy ni cyborg mag fall down din yung indicator niya pati yung uh, candlestick so there is no really a buy and sell so hindi mo i-consider na magbabay ka dyan so to bolster that account let's go to a higher time frame of Bicor. and I'm going to explain it to you how does the cyborg pro and cyborg hybrid cyborg ends works so as you see on this chart this is the um, white cyborg knight ano nga ba yung function ni white cyborg knight it gives you confidence in your trading kasi lahat ng uh, if lahat ng candlestick is above the white cyborg knight meaning it is bullish when the uh, candlestick is below the cyborg knight it is considered as a downtrend stock so let us consider the uh, the particular day on friday 9 30 9 30 in 15 minutes time frame Dito. this is the uh, the trading activity that went through during the Friday from here and to this one So, pag buy and, uh, buy and selling signals sa uh, particular stock, kagaya ng scalping, you have to uh, look for a trend line in a lower and higher time frame, whether there is a trend line for uh, support and um, resistance. So, sa, sa particular na struktura ng uh, stock na to, malalaman mo na there is really a buy and sell entry in this particular stock. Let us go back on uh, Thursday last uh, week because I'm gonna prove to you that there was really a buy and selling uh, sell signal in Cyborg Force Trading Strategy. So, what is the general rule of cyber force when the particular candlestick 
crosses above the yellow color. Above the yellow color. Ito. Binutas nung candlestick yung yellow color. You have to execute your buy entry. Maybe on this line. This level. Or maybe on this level. And the white cyborg knight, as you have, yeah, as you see, there it will give you a confidence in buy, buy, buying of this uh, particular time, uh, time, because when the the candlestick crosses above the cyan in yellow color, it gives you a buy signal. Pinapabili ka the cyborg force during this time, but by the mere fact that there is a cyborg white knight. It gives you more confidence and um, a boost in conviction that you have to really sell, uh, buy the uh, particular uh, stock on this particular time frame. But when dito nagkaroon ng uh, uh, resistance, mawa yung candlestick at dito sila nagkaroon ng um, sell signal sa level na to. Kasi, the cyan crosses below the yellow color is a uh, sell signal and also the the candlestick, the spread candlestick crosses above uh, below the yellow color. So, this is your uh, selling entry. And bumaba siya ng bumaba dito sa particular stock and sa sumunod na araw on Friday this is the uh, starting day trade uh, on Friday the yellow color and the sign color is going aggressive uh, aggressively going up so nagkakaroon ng rally yung candlestick and how do you know that you would really buy this uh, particular stock on this particular time frame because this candlestick here this candlestick here signifies that the RSI is on the oversold level wherein um, the oversold level or maybe all the investors traders are accumulating and by the time that this RSI reaches, the RSI reaches this oversold, this is the oversold, the green uh, horizontal line. You have to consider a buy entry in conjunction to the, um, uh, to your main chart, the candlestick, and the moving averages of the cyan and the yellow color. So, ano yung sinasabi ko? Pagkatatandaan. If the indicator line touches and going to cross above the oversold level, you have to consider a buy entry. And once lumapit siya dito sa 50 level, panalo ka na. You can execute your sell entry here. On this overbought level, what is the function of this uh, overbought level? Over overbought level signifies the that a particular stock is maybe going down. Or, meron din sinasabi sa libro na when a particular stock is in bullish and in aggressive move, when this line bounces this level the overbought level it will go up direct uh, in upward direction and the uh, candlestick will change the course of way maybe it will go up above the previous one So, by uh, continuing this trading strategy of cyborgs,
on this particular uh, level, on this particular candlestick, why I am saying that there is a hybrid cyborg edge trading strategy because of this line. What is this line? This is the blue line. This is the royal line, royal line color of cyborg force. We have before this cyan, which is we have identif identified that as a very aggressive uh, moving averages that may be uh, merely representing a stock um, activities. This line that the hybrid Cy uh, that the cyborg has will tell you if will tell you fast if this particular candlestick is going down mas mabilis na bumababa yung um, royal blue color ni cyborgs kung nagkakaroon ng rally down mas makikita mo at mas mabilis pa siya kesa kisay uh, sayan tinan mo to dito ang parte naging mas mabilis pa itong royal blue color kisayan yan mo dito na siya mababa ng mababa but Nung nandito na ulit si candlestick sa ditong sa particular na level na to si RSI ay nasa oversold level na rin meaning nag-accumulate na yung mga investors and by mere pointing up pointing direction of this uh, royal blue color as an accompaniment for a hybrid cyborg ends it moves faster than the cyan color mas mabilis tong royal blue kaysa sa cyan that is the ends of the hybrid cyborg force so, it will give you a hint that this stock is going up on this level. And by uh, next candlestick, it won't go, it won't uh, really up nga. And then, paano, paano mo ba malalaman na meron talagang buy and selling cyborg for trading strategy? So, on this level, On this level, yung yellow color at yung candlestick at uh, yung candlestick ay nasa above the yellow color. Meaning, on this particular level, you have to execute your buy entry. Correct. That is your buy entry here. Because as a general rule, when uh, candlestick is piercing up or crosses above the yellow color it's a sell signal it's a buy signal rather so ditong particular na level na to na green ito ay yung buy signal and hindi ka nga pinapabayaan ni royal blue dahil very aggressive pa si royal blue and at the same time uh, uh, and as well as the cyan color and uh, the uh, yellow color is going bullish also. And bakit ka nga ba, bakit nga ba merong hybrid cyborg edge trading strategy? Because of this white cyborg knight. Nakikita mo to? This one. This is the white cyborg knight. It gives you strength. It gives you determination, strong determination, and it gives you um, uh, confidence in buying a particular stock on a particular time frame. So on this particular time frame, 
dito sa green na box na to, si white cyborg na cyborg knight crosses also on this line. Meaning, if mamarapatin ko ulit, yung price is going up above the white cyborg knight. Meaning, it gives you more confidence in buying a particular stock. So, let us go through now to the uh, to a sell signal. So, nineteen then yah. So on this particular stock, in fifteen minutes time frame, there is none. There is no selling, uh, selling entry for a cyborg for pro and cyborg. Uh, hybrid cy cyborg ends in 15 20 minutes time frame the cyborg force pro and uh, cyborg ends hybrid gives only the buy entry Because because on this particular level, on this uh, green box, the price crosses above this line, and the white cyborg knight is. Uh, the, the price is above this white cyborg knight. So, meaning it gives you more confidence in buying a particular stock. So, let's go to uh, 30 minutes time frame. Maybe it will give us a sell entry. Oh, wala pa rin. There is no sell entry on this particular level. It gives only a buy signal. Medyo on this uh, time frame, uh, the chart is giving us clear identification in buy entry. So, the mere fact that the stock the candlestick went above the yellow line. It gives you a buy entry. So that is your buy entry. Kung titignan mo naman ulit sa RSI, sure, eto na nga, nasa above 50 level na si RSI. See? what i have uh, shared to you when a particular stock went above um, level 50 sa kalgitnaan ng uh, oversold and overbought level most likely a particular stock will go up abruptly and will go down abruptly so on this particular level because of this indicator this indicator give us uh, the the royal, royal blue give us a hint that the uh, particular stock is going up. So, pinroof ni RSI at level fifty that the particular stock is going strong. And in the end, there was really. Uh, by a very strong um, trend of RSI uh, of P core. So on this level, this is the your buy entry because it crosses above the price crosses above the yellow line. This is your yellow line. And it gives more confidence in buying when Cyborg Knight 
when the price crosses above the cyborg night. This is the white cyborg night on this particular area. Then Gen C cyborg night. On this particular area. So what happened to this stock? This stock went up abruptly. How many percentage? It's give you three percentage. So let's go to one hour if there was really a buy and sell entry in cyborg trading strategy using cyborg pro and cyborg hybrid ends. Let us dissect from lower time frame to ha higher time frame if there was really a buy signal and selling selling signal in cyborg force pro trading strategy. So by mere looking at, at this particular stock, when the price crosses above the yellow, this is again your yellow. It's, it, it, it generates a buy signal. This is your buy signal. And the cyborg royal blue gives us direction in pointing upward. And uh, CRSI also went on 50 level and it went more higher than 60 level and 70 level at overbought level. What happened to overbought level when the RSI touches this overbought level? Let us identify this one. Ano nangyari when PCOR reaches this overbought level? So particular na time frame na yan, kay RSI dito, at ilagay rin natin sa main chart. What happened to this one? This stock and candlestick went up aggressively because of this indicator of this white cyborg knight. You see this one? Ito po yun. Ito yung white cyborg knight. It gives you more confidence in buying and selling. And on the reverse side, if this this was really not in uh, bullish uh, trend, kung bubuhu sa naman si Picor on this particular time frame, magkakaroon ng pula. Of course, si RSI bababa na rin from overbought level going to 50 level and then to oversold level it's a cycle only you have to wait for the process you have to wait for a certain time this is now your sell entry and maybe this particular um, white cyborg knight is will will go down also it will become your cell entry in cyborg force trading strategy because what is the ge uh, general rule of cyber force when the the the, the price crosses below the yellow color, it's a sell signal, conservative sell signal. But on this particular stock, there was none. Wala nangyaring uh, sell entry to B core. And it went above le the level of the Ichimoku cloud. Meaning, 
the P core is in uh, upward direction. Let's go to uh, weekly time frame. And because we have already identified the one day time frame, let us skip this one and go to a weekly time frame. In weekly time frame, I will give you another strategy of the cyborg uh, hybrid cyborg ends. I have already identified you the function of the hybrid uh, royal blue color and the, then the hybrid white uh, cyborg knight. For this hybrid cyber force trading strategy and what is inside the hybrid cyber edge trading strategy this indicator as you see this is the step line the zigzag line as you can see i will make it uh, a bold one this particular stock will give you a hint in future activity of a certain stock because it, it generates uh, it generates um, a prediction whether the particular stock is going up and going down so with this particular stock i am using this step line indicator this uh, zigzag line when this uh, zigzag line crosses above this thin line of white cyborg because before we have uh, we have uh, learned and identified the uh, cyborg uh, hybrid cyborg edge using the broad line there is a thin line also using the cyborg force trading strategy the hybrid edge there is a thin line for a white line because it will give you a hint that a particular stock is going it will cross down and cross uh, it will go up so when this uh, zigzag line crosses below this thin line of white cyborg knight it will tell you that oh on this level on this level hindi ka sinasabihan na bumili ka ulit kasi because of this uh, um, uh, phenomenon that the stock is going up this stock is going up, but by the mere, uh, by the mere fact that the uh, zigzag line crosses below this white thin line, this one. Let's identify here. Do not buy a particular stock. because it will tell you that in the future there will come a time that the stock will go down as uh, suggested by this uh, goal uh, crossing of the uh, zigzag line and the white thin line of cyborgs so really there was a downtrend direction of the particular stock the t core and notice and notice here there was a cross between these two lines the white thin line and then the uh, zigzag line what happened 
here on the red uh, circle the thin line the uh, zigzag line crosses below this uh, white thin line but on this particular area the thin line the zigzag line crosses above the white this is the white so inversely proportional so meaning if the thin the zigzag line is going above crossing above the white thin line meaning there is a coming way of an uptrend so nagkaroon nga ng uptrend on this particular stock so it went up on this particular stock malakas pa rin si p -core. and it is bolstered by this white cyborg line white knight cyborg line this uh, broad line it generates also a buy signal and it gives you more confidence in buying a signal a uh, particular stock and as you have seen uh, you have seen here in uh, rsi the rsi went above 50 level and it went go up to this level and nagkaroon nga ng cell, cell entry kay RSI dito sa level uh, 70 niya so that is your cell signal here so guys this is how the cyborg hybrid cyborg edge works and uh, I, dis I disclose it to you in public that there is uh, really a buy and selling signal in Cyber Pro trading strategy. The Cyber Pro trading strategy is the cyan, yellow, hulma, the orange, red, and green line and other indicators. In a comp uh, accompanied by the cyber force pro trading strategy but the hybrid cyborg edge trading strategy that I am introducing it to you right now it gives you more confidence in buying and selling because of this white cyborg night white cyborg night broad line As you can see here on the daily time frame, the white cyborg knight here was on the support level and it went up to this level for how many percentage? Approximately 23%. And uh, when the uh, cyborg pro generates uh, cell entry here above here because as you see the yellow here the, uh, the candlestick went below the yellow meaning there is a cell entry and it it was uh, mm, pro proven to you by the white cyborg line, the, the broad line, after a couple of days ago. One day, two, three, four, five, six day. On the sixth day, there is really a downtrend on this particular stock. So remember, as a general rule, there is a buy and selling entry, in particular, in, in, in the cyber trading strategy, and I'm gonna show to you how uh, the cyber fusion point works.
in my reiteration before that there is a cyborg fusion point when the line and the price when the price crosses above uh, above those lines of cyborg force pro trading strategy when the price goes up above cyan yellow orange and red there will come a time that there ha there there will be a cyborg fusion point meaning maybe there the uh, white cyborg line will come up will come below this line and will go up to this level and on this uh, area also there is a cyborg fusion point because the price went above the cyan color yellow color orange color red color and the green color so that is all about the cyborg fusion point and um, the cyborg uh, force the ancestor is readily available in any time for any clarification queries regarding the cyborg force trading strategy that it generates in particular a buying and selling entry especially the hybrid cyborg and trading strategy so at this point in time I want to say thank you and have a nice what's on my youtube please subscribe share and love the cyborg trading strategy good day academia thank you